What's going on everyone? So this is going to be kind of an update video to the video I made on my N64 RGB mod. And that video I basically explained that I did mod my N64 for RGB output uh, using Voltar's RGB kit. And I'm also using the HD Retrovision cables to output the RGB signal through component. And the cables work great uh, with my TV, but they can produce some capability issues with modern hardware because the N64 will only output 320 by 240 resolution and the HD Retrovision cables do not do any kind of upscaling or any kind of upconverting so it just passes through the 240p signal through the component uh, through the component cables so so again that can make it not work on modern TVs or, or capture cards because it just won't recognize that 240p resolution so in my original video, I was kind of distraught because I was not able to capture direct footage of the RGB signal to actually give you guys a perfect, a perfect idea of what the RGB signal looks like. So you can spend hundreds of dollars on some upscalers and upconverters like the FrameMeister. The FrameMeister is supposed to be the best one. Um, but I was watching a video from My Life in Gaming, and in that video they were showing uh, they were showing a few different alternatives to the FrameMeister that were much cheaper, and one of those was the GBS 8200, which is basically like a little board for um, for like people who had arcade cabinets that were looking to upgrade their CRT displays to flat panels. So I went on eBay and went ahead and picked one up myself. And this only cost me $15. So if this works, um, this would be a pretty good deal. So let's take a closer look at this. Okay, so here it is, the GBS 8200. This is version 4.0 and has a date of 2017. So this was made very recently. And on the bottom here, we have component inputs and a VGA input, which is an RGB input. And on the back, we have a VGA out, so no HDMI, unfortunately. Um, I mean, and we also have various power inputs on the board, and one of these is the one I'll be using. I just so happen to have this power brick just laying around. Now, this didn't come with this, but I just had it. Uh, now, it did come with these bunch of uh, uh, wires right here, which I guess you would use if you were using it in an arcade cabinet. So around the board, we have these various chips here. I'm not sure exactly what they do. Uh, this is a Samsung chip, so maybe this does the upscaling. And we have another chip down here, which I can't really read uh, what that is, but it's just a bunch of numbers and letters. And we also have some buttons on the board, which can be used to navigate the menu, and as well as change inputs. All right, so that's a look at the board. So let's hook this up now. We just simply plug the the HD Retrovision cables right into the component in. And then we turn it around here, and then we take the VGA cable that's coming from my capture card. And we just plug that in the back. So I hooked all this up, and I set it down, and then I turned the power on, and then, to my surprise, it's me, Mario. It's actually working. But there's a problem, though. The picture just looks a little dark. It looks a little off. So on the board, there are some t toggles that you can use a screwdriver to turn, but I think they only change the picture if you're using the VGA input. As you can see here, I'm turning them and everything, and the picture doesn't change at all. So then I got the idea of to navigate through the menu. So, so on the board, there are these buttons here th that you can press here, and navigating through the menu is a little bit of a pain. Uh, sometimes the buttons don't respond. Uh, so here I'm navigating through the settings. There's a picture settings menu, uh, which you're seeing right here. And, and so here you can adjust the brightness. 
which doesn't really seem to change a whole lot. And But the contrast, though, uh, when I raised that, that did make it look better. So I do think uh, when uh, when you get this board, the contrast is too low uh, by default. And again, the brightness seems to be okay where it's at. And the saturation also seems to be all right. You can probably leave that. It just seems to be the contrast that really seems to be the most off. So I got to this result, and while this does look better... I'm still not satisfied, so more tinkering with settings, and then I finally decide on this one. Now currently this is being upscaled to 800 by 600, and it does allow you to upscale to higher resolutions. So this is the game running in 1024 by 768, and I can't exactly say it looks any better or worse, it just looks a little different, you know, technically it is higher resolution, so maybe this would work better. Uh, for your setup. Um, and of course, since you can adjust the color and contrast on this, then the picture you get may also be slightly different. And, and of course, I'm still tinkering with settings here. I'm still trying to uh, get the best picture. And I must say, I think the picture still looks best, like on my TV. Um, here, it may require a lot of, you know, trial and error to try to get the absolute best picture so your mileage may vary there but this does work uh, this really is upscaling the rgb signal and making it work with my capture card and it should work with any other hardware as well now this device can upscale all the way up to 1360 by 768 which is basically the same resolution as 720p flat panels and right now we're going to do a quick little test. I'm going to switch this back to 640 by 480. And as you can see, that kind of screws up with uh, my capture device. But this is 640 by 480. And I'm going to fix the, uh, the glitches there on the right here in a second. There we go. Um, so this looks, this is, so this is 640 by 480. I'm going outside here. And it still pretty much looks the same, uh, but this still looks fine. This looks great. Uh, this is working great. So I'm very happy with this for $15. I can't really ask for much more. So if you're looking for a cheap way to upscale your HD RetroVision component cable RGB signals, I think this is the way to go. So that's pretty much it. So thank everyone for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.